Yeah, just a couple days ago. That was one of my favorite You went from black to brown. I see that. Isn't that amazing? It's an amazing change. So, like, there's a lot of getting all this love, huh? You're getting all this love today, aren't you, sweetheart? Look at that big smile. Yes. I have a girlfriend in Boca that She's just working her way through the crowd. What are you doing, Sneaker? I just No, I have my square in Boca. Yeah. It's What's called it called? The core evolution. I went there this morning. Oh, okay, because Rob and my girlfriend, yeah. she used to go to a core 9 5 version. We're live, just so you know. Oh. Oh. You can say whatever you want, just know you're live. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'd, like to give, I'd like to give everybody a warning. We're live, so you can say whatever you want, just be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Jan. Sneakers like I remember him so much. Yeah. I about two, three weeks ago. It's been about a dozen times. It's great. See, we got him callers now. Yes, Jamie Edwards, Hershey and Snickers. Yeah, it on the Hi, baby. Let me see that face. Jamie, say hi. Let me see that face. This is Snickers. Hershey's over there is getting all the love from John. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy, happy. How happy is this day? Happy, happy, happy day. Oh, careful. We have some amazing news to share with everybody. We thought we would go live so you could all just enjoy this happy moment that we are all here. A large portion of people that have been part of our organization part of Hershey's Hershey, and Snickers' um, life and journey since the day we rescued them together, this bonded, bonded pair. This is Hershey, for any of you that are new to the organization. This is Hershey. He got his new haircut. He's usually very, very fluffy. I'm loving this puppy cut. Very dark. And Snickers over there is going to explore. Snickers, come here. Snickers, come here. Sweet girl. Hi. So let me tell you, um, for any of you that may not know Hershey's and Snickers, uh, I was out. I was actually called out in May of 2015 to the rural parts of Miami. I was actually called out to rescue a lab, yellow lab, that we were successful in getting, and is now, you know, um, safe. <clears throat> actually was adopted and uh, that lab actually passed away sadly um, but that night that we were called out to rescue the lab in the middle of the night we saw these eyes it was pitch dark it was late eyes glowing glowing in the dark and it was these two they were on the side of the middle of nowhere basically they were just in a, in a just a pile of grass Hershey's and Snickers. Um, there was a, a girl that came out with us because she was the one that was out there doing some feeding, Jessie. And I asked her about these two dogs and she said she had been feeding them for weeks and weeks. Um, that they were super, super bonded. And I stopped the truck, we got out, and we opened up the hatch and we were going to just feed them. And of course they tried to jump in the car and there was no way that I was going to drive away and leave these two babies out there alone to end up God knows what. Um, we have had Hershey's and Snickers for three years and uh, it's almost three, right? Almost three. Three years we've had them. They're old, older, and for the longest time we were begging and pleading and trying desperately to get them into a foster home. And thankfully, John over here. Hey, John. John, how long did you have Hershey and Snickers? Over two years. Over two years. That's right, because Andrea and Dave have had them now for seven months. So John over here used to. What, he's a volunteer with our organization. He would come almost every day and take Hershey and Snickers out for walks. And then one day he said, you know what, I'm going to try to foster. And he took them home, and then that wasn't such a great match. So, because Hershey and Snickers cannot be with any other dogs. So, Snickers actually is very, very protective over Hershey. Um, and so, John has a business, and it's a large warehouse business where people around all the time. So, they started going to work 
with John every day, back and forth, back and forth, and they would return back to the VCA Imperial Point Animal Hospital for the weekend and spend the weekend in a large kennel together. Um, it killed us. I mean, we were so grateful to get them out, but we just always wanted them to have their forever loving home where they could just be together and be spoiled and loved in their senior years. Then uh, comes Dave and Andrea. Say hi. Hi. Dave and Andrea started volunteering with our organization and they were at the hospital and they were walking and spending time with the dogs and I don't remember when I mean, you said it was seven months ago but tell me a little bit like what made you think okay we're gonna we're gonna foster we're gonna try this what what was it about them out of every other dog there that ch made you choose wanting they were so old and we wanted to give them a good life and, and just give them a good fun place to live and we didn't have any other dogs and one of the things is the reason why that nobody had taken them is because Almost everybody else has other dogs, and we don't. So we figured we could potentially give them a home that nobody else had been able to. So they've been fostering for seven months, and I said, okay, so what, what's, when are we going to make this official? When are we going to make this official? The day after we started fostering. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so today, today we are, what's today's date? Uh, 25th. 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 Today is the official Yay. day Yay. we are making Yay. Hershey and Snickers forever, forever home. <laughs> like, I don't know what we did, but this is good. Everybody's clapping. And I do want to say that along this journey, guys, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes. Um, holidays when they were, I'm going to back up, I'm backtracking, that, that's just what I, my brain. During the holidays when the dogs were at the animal hospital and we'd have the volunteers come in for a certain amount of hours, yeah, won't knock you in the pool. I remember <laughs> Melissa and Amber and Jeff used to come and brush them and sit and just love on them. And Hershey has severe, severe issues with his hips, arthritis, he's on all kinds of different things. And Melissa has been so kind. You have been literally Amber. taking him. And Amber. I'm sorry, Amber. And Amber. And anybody else. Jeff. <laughs> um, get in the video. This, this, this amazing family have been literally taking Hershey's to Healing Paws. And what is he? I see him so cute with the goggles. Oh, I know. Andrea, pull up a photo. If you have one on your phone. Really? It's your screensaver. Oh, is it? I want to see. Yes, that's why I mentioned it. Yeah, but he loves it and he loves her. But once those glasses go on, he's just... Look at that. Yeah, is that the best? And thank you so much for doing that and no taking problem. him because yeah, I know. We're going to keep it up so now that we're, we're all well again. That's so. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And Joellen, she's just always doing something. She's always yelling. She was the Uber for a long time at John's. Hershey yeah. needs. Hershey needs a diet. Hershey's is fat. Snickers <laughs> is fat. Every dog is fat. Well, stand up. Stand up just for a second. Everything's fat, because look at Joellen. <laughs> she's the salsa queen, so everything with Joellen is fat, fat, fat. Listen, this is, for definitely for her, she's, he, we do have to keep his weight down because of his hips, and it's not healthy for him. And for any dog, it's not healthy. It slows them down, right? <laughs> right, Hershey? Skinny. He's never going to be no. skinny. You know, he's not. He's not going to be a skinny. You don't want to be a skinny boy. Yeah, we, keep, we keep his food to a minimum, but he's always going to be a, a little chunkster. I will never forget the night that I saw their faces pitch black in the middle of nowhere, eyes literally glowing in the dark. Carol was with me. And we just, we were like, we didn't know what we were. Do you remember? Were you guys on the rescue? Were you part of the rescue then? Yeah. No? Yeah, you were. I remember that. It was a third dog. We went for one dog. Went for the yellow lab. Yeah, then you come back. Came back with all three in the car, freaking out. Yeah, as long as they don't Yeah. Yep. Three years. So, guys, when we, when we rescue these dogs, remember, we don't know how long it's going to take to find them their forever home. You know, three years. Thank God we had these wonderful John and, and you know, Joellen and all these wonderful people as a team to get these dogs taken care of, to get what they need, to show them love so they're not sitting in a kennel environment. So, 
All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. I just wanted to share this awesome, awesome day. Dave and Andrea. Oh, wait. Hello. Hi, kissing. Yes. John. Joellen. John and Joellen each yeah, take a John dog. John and Joellen, yeah. And Melissa and Amber, get over here. You're going to do it second. Please. Snickers. You and me. Don't fall in the pool. Snickers. Okay, go. Go. Okay. Mika. You never know any see any pain anymore. And you never do her again. Kiss you can get down you never see any pain anymore. You never see anything bad ever again. Kiss both eyes. You gotta kiss his eyes, John. There you go. Amber, get in there. I love you. I love you too. Never, ever, ever see anything bad, Hershey's and Snickers. You are officially home. Feel like we know we're going in. I, I'm going to just show them really quick their little setup in here, if you don't mind, guys. Okay, this is their awesome setup because Hershey's has trouble getting around because of his arthritis. Look at this. This is their kitchen in their home. All these yoga mats and their two huge cushy beds. And you, thank you. Thank you for all that you do for them and taking care of them. So appreciative. I know you do. Thank you. So awesome. You guys are home. Did you know that? 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Hershey and Snickers is home. They're home.